The biggest challenge with e-ink devices isn't the screen sharpness, the color fidelity, or the lack of apps. Well, maybe it is the lack of apps. I think the biggest thing holding e-ink back is traditional scrolling and the fact that it doesn't feel good on e-ink. But it's not for a lack of trying. There's a real physics challenge with moving around charged pigments floating in liquid. It's inherently slow, and there's not a ton we can do about it while respecting the laws of physics. But what if we didn't have to scroll in an e-ink app? What might that look like? Well, the folks over at Readwise have been exploring just that, so let's check it out in today's video. So what is Readwise? Readwise is a highlight aggregation tool. It takes everything you highlight from what you read, whether it be Kindle books or articles on the web, and then spits those back at you at regular intervals in hopes that you can remember more of what you read. For me, I get an email every day at lunchtime with three highlights from the past. Sometimes they're things I'm familiar with, and sometimes they're things I don't even remember reading but they often inspire the things that I write about in Weekly Reset, which is my email newsletter that you should subscribe to in the link down below. This video is not sponsored by Readwise. I've been a paying Readwise user for a number of years now, but if you haven't tried Readwise, I do have an affiliate link that'll get you a 60 day free trial, which is about twice as long as you would get if you went to their website yourself. So highlight aggregation is how they got their start, but about a year ago, they released a beta of what they call Readwise Reader which is a read it later service that has a focus on being the best reading and highlighting experience. I can read from my computer, from my phone, or from my e-ink tablets. It's excellent, except scrolling on e-ink sucks. I've been able to work around that by setting up this nav ball in the books OS. So if I go over here, you can turn on nav ball and you can configure some settings with these page down and page up buttons. They work pretty well, but they take up screen real estate and they just feel a little hacky. With the new Readwise Reader update, I can turn all of that off and just tap on the right half of the screen to go a page forward and then the left half of the screen to go a page backwards. It's just like reading on the Kindle, except for anything that I'd want to read on the internet. To set it up, if we tap on this double A, it'll let us customize our appearance. So we're going to turn on page scroll. We're going to go to more style options and we're going to turn on reduce page animations and we're gonna set page scrolling to be on by default. Now, when I tap on the right half of the screen, I get a new page. When I tap on the left half of the screen, I go back a page. It's instant, there's no page animation. It's just lovely. As far as your e-ink settings on the books go, there are two primary modes that I think make good sense. You can leave it on balanced, which is probably what I think most people should do. This makes it so that you don't have to have the flash but you do get some ghosting. So like if I were to go in here and go forward a page, go forward another page, go forward another page, go forward another page, you start to see some ghosting show up here. You can set a gesture to do a full page refresh and that can clean that up. And so that's a really good one. The other one that I think makes sense is you can set up regal mode, which is a little flashier, um, but you never have any ghosting. So every time you tap, you're gonna get a full screen flash which is a little disorienting, but you never have to manually refresh to get rid of ghosting. So which one you choose is ultimately up to you, um, but I don't really think you can go wrong with either. Now that I've turned that on, I can go ahead and turn off the nav ball. I have a nice clean workspace, which is just focused on what I'm reading. Having the combination of the Kindle app and Readwise Reader makes this the ultimate reading device, or maybe it's this one. I'm not really sure. It really depends on what you're reading and where, but with the new update, I can cuddle up with my e-ink device and read whatever I want to read distraction-free. And maybe in the not too distant future, you can also do it on this device. But that's really up to Supernote to decide. So Rada, when are we going to get official support for Android apps? Anyway. Thanks for sticking around. If you're new around here on this channel, I share tools and tips to improve your thinking and focus with one of those tools being e-ink tablets. Subscribe so that you don't miss out on future videos. And if you're looking to improve your focus, I recommend you check out Weekly Reset, that email newsletter that I mentioned earlier in the video. In it, I share my reflections from the past week to give you one tool and one tip to improve your thinking and focus. It's completely free. There's a link in the description where you can join. I hope to see you there. And until next time.
Cheers.